Hello, my name is Phil, and in today's video I will show you my new version of the easiest way to fully automate up to 8 large furnaces. So you can smelt super fast and super easy, and you never have to touch it anymore after you set it up once. And how to set it up? I will show you now. So for this system we only need these things to set it up and it's the easiest way to fully automate 8 large furnaces. So we will start with placing our boxes. We need a wood box, we need an ore box and we need a box for our smelted ore. Okay, the next uh, part is we will place our conveyors we have a wood conveyor we have a ore conveyor and we have the loop conveyor and we have our conveyor from the furnaces to the smelted box okay so we place this to merge this to our furnaces to one line and then we can start to place our storage adapters here. So each box is getting one, except the ore box, it's getting another one for our loop. And this loop here uh, is to check if there is any ore in this box. So we need uh, the filter here. Metal ore, sulfur ore and high quality ore. Uh, apply that. Uh, the same thing we can do on the top. So we go on copy here and paste here. Apply. And we want only 20 of each. Okay, and then we can set the wood conveyor filter to 25. Okay, so let's connect the pipes. We have our connection here. So that's the wood. That's our ore. It's going in here. And this is our new check for the wood conveyor to get turned on or turned off. So this new thing. We made it on the other systems, we made it with uh, checking the input output, but we only need this anymore. So this will check us uh, if there is ore in this box and turn our wood conveyor on or off. So we know already this filter pass, if there is ore in it, it will turn on and filter fail, it will turn off. Okay, so we don't need them yet. We can place our NIDR system. And we have an extra branch here. Because this branch is an additional output. So the branch out, the power out goes to the splitter. So we have one, two, three and four. For eight furnaces we need four igniters and if the wood conveyor is turning on like the other systems it will toggle our timer don't forget to set it to 0 0.25 seconds so the igniters getting don't get destroyed that fast um, yeah let's connect it this one uh, and then we can place our furnaces i think oh no let's do the electrics first so we need a small battery for all this and we need a solar panel 
gonna make this down here to the battery okay so now we can place our furnaces um, we have eight furnaces here number two number three four five six seven and eight okay so um these furnaces need their storage adapters as well hello place them on there create the loop so every furnace is connected with each other so to this one goes to this one so we have one big loop through the furnaces and we have one output open and we have one input open and we have one output open here and one input here so this output is going to there to the open input and this input is going there to this output so we created our loop now and it's nearly everything connected so the only thing we don't to forget is take out the wood because we have uh, a filter in the wood conveyor that there is a maximum of 25 wood in there and it comes with 100 so it won't start the first time okay so let's connect the electrical part power in so we are doing the path through here going to the next one and this path through is going to our timer and now we can set our timer to 0 0.25 set duration and the last thing we have to do is placing our igniters one here one here between each furnace where you place the furnaces that's up to you and now we can connect our four outputs here so we take one here then the second one here third one here hello mr bear and the fourth one is going here okay so our system is set up um the only thing we have to do is put the ore in put the wood in and turn we can turn these conveyors on already uh, the wood conveyor will turn on automatically and yeah let's take the wood out let's take the ore out and test it first we put in the wood and then see the magic happen put in the ore and it will turn on and as you can see all the eight furnaces will turn on and it will smelt super fast so you see you have already smelted 160 sulfur ore and 80 metal ore so the speed of smelting is another level. The only thing is, uh, at the moment, uh, you will burn all your wood. So to prevent this, if you want to hold some wood back, 
uh, you can put their uh, min filter. So if you want to leave a row of wood left, yeah, it won't burn it. It won't take it out. So you have less than 6k wood in there. It will stop feeding the furnaces. As you can see, we got the filter on 25 and it won't feed anymore. It will stop. So if you put more wood in, it will start to feed again. You see, it's on 25 again. Um, the same thing, it will stop if you don't have any... You see, the wood conveyor turned off already. Uh, it will smelt the things that's inside and yeah easy cheesy if you put the ore in your are farming put the ore in the box you will see it will turn on the conveyor again starts feeding and here we go so it's a very easy system, you don't need a lot of parts, easy to understand, and you don't need a lot of power, it's only 5 power, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's counting, I don't know if it's counting that, or no, it's, I think it's counting that, or 1, uh, yeah, it's nothing. It's ideal for a bigger base. And it's smelting super fast. Okay, so that's everything for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the last 700 subs. And if you liked any second of this video, please consider subscribing. Leave a like, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye.